Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith. These are your headlines for February 26th. The USS John C. Stennis Carrier Strike Group conducted their first combat mission over Afghanistan February 23rd. An F-A-18C Hornet from the Death Rattlers of Marine Strike Fighter Squadron 323 was the first to launch from the Stennis flight deck in support of that mission. The strike group includes Carrier Air Wing 9, Destroyer Squadron 21, and USS John C. Stennis, Antietam, Preble, and O'Kane. Stennis departed Bremerton, Washington in January and arrived in the Fifth Fleet Area of Responsibility February 19th. Space and Naval Warfare Systems Center San Diego is developing an unmanned surface vehicle, or USV, that will work on the front lines of anti-submarine warfare. Crew members from LCS-1 Freedom, who will be handling this new ASW package, were able to see the technology for the first time February 22nd. He's now able to take this technology, a offboard vehicle, and the capabilities we're putting on it, send it over the horizon and have it detect and engage in the future threat submarines at that distance. The USV is a, an awesome idea, uh, conceptually. I like the idea of being able to take my sensors farther away from the ship, because the farther away I can pick them up, the safer I am. The USV package is scheduled to deploy as early as summer of 2008. And finally, the Department of Defense has designated February 25th through March 4th as Military Saves Week. This year's campaign is Operation Financial Freedom. During this week, military members are encouraged to set a savings goal and begin saving. For more information, see NAVADMIN 044-07. From the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith.